Welcome back to Test Engineers. I'm Rob, and in today we are back in our testing facility. We are today looking at a arc furnace. This one. As you can see, we have an inlet chute and an outlet chute. We have our IC housing with a chip, a gas sensor, and a pump with an active uh, passive valve behind it. Now I have some ore here. I have some big chunks over there, and I have some single ones here, just to see what it does. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The reason for this is because it turned off. This lever, when it's pulled out like this, it's not active. Let it go, and off it goes. It produces the ingot that you put in. Pop it out here, or wherever you have this one going to. You like that over there. And then it turns off again. The gas pressure. The gas pressure controls the, the pump and the quantity in, in the inlet controls the furnace plus the valve. Lovely. So how we are going to make this, this coating and the setup more or less, I will show you now. So, so inside here we have a pump named Arc Furnace Pump. We have a sensor named Arc Furnace Sensor and we have the Arc Furnace which is also named Arc Furnace of course. Our chip and housing we haven't changed the name of. I have named that one Arc Furnace Lever or Switch. I can't remember which one. And then that's it. The Arc Furnace has a cable on both sides for power and control. Okay, so normally the pump, as you see, is set to volume 50. If you take a tablet, change that. You see the setting here is also 50. Now, we want our chip to change that automatically. So we place down our chip housing first. Doesn't matter which way we're facing it because we have the kit between. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Our, kit, our chip itself is empty. So let's start with a blank slate, but let's still import so we know this is um, the chip we have. Now, to start off with, we're going to do some alias. Alias is just a name defining uh, code, basically, where we define what things are. So first we're going to write furnace and we have that on D0. Then we're going to do another alias. Here we have a sensor. We have that on D1. Another sensor and another alias. Here we have our pump. These three names doesn't matter what you call them. You can call that one just for F or machine or whatever. Doesn't matter. It's more what you put into it. If it if it can't do it, it'll give an error. The last alias we're gonna do here is a switch. Because we're gonna do the capital D3. And they are the four things we need. Now our pump we want to have at a hundred always because it's this it's the highest it can be at. And we want to maximum straight away. So we do a set pump setting 100. The reason I do it here is because it's just happening once, one time when the chip is turned on, and then that's it. The loop part we won't do. Um, so let's do, do this export that, export that, put that over here, hit that, turn it off again. The reason why I want to hit and turn it off is because if there was code in here and this one was on and we start to change these uh, dials this one could interfere with something else in our plant and we it can be very dangerous so you take the screwdriver you change this one to the furnace so first one is act, uh, arc furnace which is our furnace then our sensor which is arc sensor arc furnace sensor then our pump arc furnace pump and then our arc furnace lever Great. So now, as you look in here, that one is still 50. Turn this one on. And off again, it doesn't matter if you want. See, now it's 100. This one has now been adjusted according to this one. So we know that's connection here. Right. So next, we're going to do some aliases small. We want to do more. Oops, should be there. Small aliases. These that I'm doing now, we don't have to. 
I do it so it's easier to understand in the future. If if I want to save uh, space, I can remove them. But anyway, so the first one is pressure. Uh, so now R zero is a register, like a memory bit or a uh, holder, and we are now putting in a text name it pressure. So we know this one will say the same as this one. So they they, they correspond to, to each other. Um, the next one, item weight. R one. This one can be, of course, it can be called anything. On off. Two. I'm just gonna add everything and then I I will show you. I will explain what they do. Some of them makes sense, I guess. Some may not. Like the item weight. What does it do? And max. Press four. Now, these two are gonna hold our minimum and maximum value. So we do a move, and we do a move min, and we do a move max. We're gonna move ten into the minimum and twenty into the maximum. These two you can just adjust whenever you want to. It doesn't matter. But that's basically the start, and you see that's a lot of waste we've done here. Like all, you can just use the R one to to four, but it can give you confused confusion. So the actual sequence is what we're doing now. Start. We do a yield just to have a quick click. A, a yield, go to the function, gives you a pause execution for one tick. It's it's a good way to optimize and make it more streamlined. Obviously, to run like all the time, and we don't need that. All right, let's load in some valuables. So, in first, let's do the J J jump. Ah, uh, let's right start there. So this J is basically a jump. So it jumps to the line start. And start at the top, so it jumps back to the start and goes over, so like a circle. Uh, yeah, load. So we're gonna load our pressure. Filter low. Mm -hmm. So if we get that from the sensor, and we write here pressure. So this is the register which is we have here. So here we can write R zero if want to. This is the access sensors from D uh, one, and this is the uh, the the variable you want to load into the register. If that makes sense. Now we do an ls, which is a load slot. And we want to do the item weight. The item weight could also be item left, item whatever. I call it item weight because it's waiting. And we want to load from the furnace. We want to do slot one, uh, slot zero, sorry. We want to do quantity. That's not how we spell quantity. That's it. So whenever there is something here we can see them the quantity now next thing we want to have a load of our our switch so load again so on on off and we want to do the switch and we want to do a setting what i'm doing when i go up here is i do a control set con Control C, Control V function, so it's just copy and paste. Right. So before we do the the more itty bitty code, we want to do a set DB setting item weight because I want to show you what this has to do. So DB, let's confirm this and export that. The DB is what you see here. So here you say state zero and still says zero. Let's grab. Here we have one all. I'll say one, but because there's one in there. That was a very bad example, but you you'll see we're soon enough. It's basically just showing what it is, and you can use the DB like a, a display for information if you don't need a an actual display. You always have the DB. Now, the actual function. Let's first do the the pump, the pressure. So, trans register less than, so B R L T. Seems seems reasonable, simple enough. So we do a pressure, 
so which is the actual pressure of our system so we want a branch less than so we want to our uh i fucked up here didn't i you go there so we want to do the maximum pressure first and then we jump a line so we jump to, to, to line number two from this point otherwise we do a sit pump on one so if brass if the register is less than max pressure we skip this line and we jump to the next one and on the next line we're gonna have brands brands register greater than pressure again mean pressure two we take this one and we set zero here the reason why i don't have any spaces between is because spaces actually takes a bit of space and we don't have infinity first of all we only have 127 lines 128 sorry because it's zero, uh, line zero so that's the one thing but also we have a certain amount of space so we try to keep it like the region right so pump is off put it on yes now we're doing the activating and deactivating of the furnace because the rest is just a furnace so we want to do a uh should we do our switch first mm, yeah we should do a first first so brands greater than zero now this one is a bit different compared to these ones because here we don't have a register per se yeah you know, we, we do have a register but not it's not comparing to anything we add into it it's comparing to set which is zero so brands greater than zero now we want our uh, do, 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 switch where is it on off there we are switch and we jump to put something let's just comment that out for now i think it's five or something like that or six or seven but we'll see so we come back to that one later uh this mark here is a comment so you can write text here if you want to uh now let's do some brands brands less than so if we have an item weight it's here if you do an item weight and it is <coughs> one then we do a three jump so if the register is less than one then we jump three the reason why we jump three is because otherwise we'll just turn on the furnace set furnace on one and we will also activate the furnace wow that is nice spelled activate oh yeah um so if we're less than one which means we're zero we're skipping these two and we're going to the next one which is it's greater than um, greater than zero because we, do, we it's either one or the other so if we're greater than zero because we know we are greater than zero we don't need we don't need to care about how much greater so we're just greater than zero then we are not going to do this does that make sense so if we're greater if we're less than zero, then we skip this. If we're greater than zero at some some value, we skip this part. Always think this one want to skip. Oh, we have to jump. Sorry. Always think you have to. This will, 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 will is asking: Are we this? Are we greater than? Then we then we do this. So we're jumping a line over. We're skipping a line. And here you can add whatever line you want. So now our turn off switch we want to if the turn off is one which means it's pulled out we want to skip this so one two three four five we want to jump five so in my uh, haste to make this correct i turned out i actually made a mistake so the brand greater than zero and the, uh, these two are not a relative they jump to a certain line now here we want to jump to turn off if this one is on so that's why we have to line 27 if you look here if you look here brand square uh brand square and zero brand to line 
that means it's jumping to a specific line. So we want to jump to line seven, uh, 27 as this is where we turn it off. And the next one, if the item weight is greater than zero, we want to jump to 28 to jump back up. Or we could, here we could, we could just jump back up, but yeah. So export that. Put that over here. Turn him on. And let's see what happens. So he's on. Seems okay. Now we have two in there. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it off. And there we should go. Uh, let's take all that over there. Now here we have... Uh, let's take this big one. What do we have in there? Put them down. Nothing. So here we have 29. Let's put them in there. Sheep, 29. Count down slowly. Nice. So when you get to 20, let's um, pull them up. Now. There we go. We get the 10 out. We have still 19 there. And the fact that the pump still goes. And everything runs this normal life. Perfect. That is my take on a fully automated sort of uh, arc furnace. So now you can you, you can run him and you can turn off or whatever you want. And uh, you know, well, now we have 19 left or something in there. You have to empty out before it's. Uh, continues so uh, yeah I am um, I will be updating my program for my generator as well put it up to the store uh, not store the workshop so you can see both of them <coughs> anyway uh, this one will be coming up very quickly and then you can uh, see it you can play with it whatever you want to and uh, hope you like it anyway that's all for this time I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you again next time bye